not with my Uziza seed and my. Ten, how much do you eat it over ten? How much? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am going for my driving lessons today. I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm so scared because I'm like, oh my god, like I'm going to learn how to drive. I'm actually, um, I was actually learning last year. I even got my license, but I couldn't complete my classes, so I don't even know how to reverse. I don't even know how to do like to even traffic itself. Mm -hmm. So today I'm going to be learning everything, and I'm waiting for my tutor to come. I don't know if he's there yet. Okay. My tutor is not yet here. I'm actually still waiting for him. Today we're going to go to the major road to learn how to drive. And I'm looking for my license because I feel like I might be stopped by all those, is it what they even call them, road safety people. So I don't want to risk it. So I want to look for my license. I hope I find my license because I don't want anybody to stop me. So guys, these are my documents. I'm trying to look for my I'm trying to look for my um driving license. Is it driving license or driver's license? This is my AYSC certificate. Mm -hmm. So ooh, <laughs> this is my Uniben um Uniben ID, student ID. <laughs> Okay, I have seen it. That's my permanent driving license. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready. Guys, I'm going to drink some energy drink because I need all the energy. Like, I need all the energy for for this um, driving class, to be honest. Okay. So guys, this is your girl. is gonna go to the driving guys i remember when i used to be so so skinny i had to like hold my my trouser like but right now i'm gaining some weight and i don't know if i like it i'm going to put some of my energy drink and i really love red bull but i couldn't find red bull in the supermarket so i got this climax instead Climax energy drink and I love energy drink because it contains um caffeine like I need caffeine for this thing I'm going to do today I don't know I'm so hyped about it so I'll soon be on my way, so I put my license in my Uniben, um, my Uniben ID card stuff. I'm just going to put it in my handbag. Hopefully, I don't get stopped by anybody. But...
A few inches later. So I just came back from my driving. We drove for like three hours. No, we drove for like four hours. And I'm so exhausted. And guess what, guys? I scratched the bumper. Is it bumper or bomba? I think it's bumper. I don't even know. But you guys know what I'm talking about. I scratched it just a little bit. And I'm just like... <laughs> on my way coming back home i scratched it and i feel really bad i don't know what my husband is going to say about it when he comes back because before he left he was like be careful be careful well anyways shit happens let me show you guys let me show you guys the car okay so guys this is the scratch <laughs> like this is it i feel really really bad because like ugh. This one just a little bit. Whew. Several days later. Yo, so today I'm going to be doing a day in my life featuring my sister. Say hi. Hi guys. You guys subscribe to my sister's channel. In case you have not subscribed to her channel, my name is Nora. So, anyways, today I'm going to be doing a day in my life. So I'm going to be going out today. I want to go to the market. I want to buy some things like some um houseware like second hand clothes because i don't really have what to wear indoors like i don't know what happens on my clothes so i'm going to buy some okri car and then everything i do today Sha, i'll carry you guys along right now i want to make some macaroni and fish so while my macaroni is cooking i want to show you guys how you can make um not make i want to show you guys what i'm going to be eating because i'm not going to be eating macaroni i'm going to be eating some apples and drinking some ginger and honey tea okay so let me show you guys how i make my breakfast or what i'm going to eat rather i'm going to be eating some apples and um and what's this called peanut butter okay so ginger and honey drink i like it a lot because it is caffeine free and it's also good if you are trying to like cut down on some calories so i'm going to be making one of it i got this from the supermarket by the way it is very very nice i like it a lot so this is what i'm going to be taking with my apples and i am done making my macaroni so i'm breaking the egg okay so yeah guys this is what i'm going to be eating if i go out this one is for macaroni is for Nora and for my husband so yeah a few moments later so guys we are on our way going out so i'll tell you guys along with me Say hi. All right. <laughs> hi. Hi. So we're going to the bank. I want to make a withdrawal. Then I'll go and do my hair in the market. Then buy those clothes I told you guys about. So see you in the market. No, see you in the bank.
the next day hey guys so today is saturday and i'm going to be making granola soup today <laughs> Have you eaten granola soup before? I never chow. You have not, you say you have not eaten granola soup. Hey, I say hi today. Hi guys. So by the time you come back, I would have been done making this soup. So this will, this will be the first time you'll be trying Edo soup. Edo oh, granola soup. soup I don't know. Yes, it's Edo soup. <laughs> it's an Edo soup. So it's an Edo soup. So this this will be your first time. Are you excited? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so let's go and make um, this soup. So, guys, I'm about to make this granite soup. So, for those of you that don't know, granite soup is um, like it's mostly eaten by Edo people. I don't really know Sha, but I know that I ate granite soup while growing up. Edo people mostly eat granite soup. I don't know of other tribes. So, I'm so excited. Now, are you excited? Yeah. So, let me show you guys the things I will be using for this granite soup, okay? So guys, I'm going to be using some beef. If you have goat's meat, then goat's meat will be fine. But we're just going to be using some beef and some. We're going to be using some pomoc soon. We're also going to be using uziza, um, uziza seed and calabash nutmeg. Okay, uziza seed and calabash nutmeg. We're going to be using some washed bitter leaf. So this is washed bitter leaf. I got this from the market like this because I don't have strength to wash anything. We are also going to be using a mixture of yellow and red pepper. Well, not everything, no. Just like two yellow pepper and two red pepper at most. Okay, so what else are we going to be using? Then we are going to be using the star of the granos. We are going to be using original granos. Original granos, guys. Granose. I got it yesterday. So this granos, guys, can you can you see can you see can, can you see the color? This granos is giving like it looks good and it actually tastes really nice. Like it is fresh and um toasted. Like it's newly toasted. It's not like all those granos that are soft. So when you are buying your granos, try and taste it to make sure that it is not it hasn't gone um soft. You have to make sure you are getting the one that is hard. So let's start making this granola soup. I'm so excited. Eh. Yes, this is my blended um, yellow pepper, red pepper and onions and I'm going to add it to my meat so that everything boils together. I'm not going to add everything because it's going to be very spicy. I'm just going to add a little bit. So let's go, let's go. Right now, I'm going to be toasting my granite with my uziza seed and my calabash nutmeg, okay? I'm going to toast it right now. I'll show you guys how you can do it.
whenever i'm blending my granules i don't like making it too smooth so i'm just going to leave it like this okay so this is perfect if you like to blend it smooth then you can blend it smooth but i don't like mine being too smooth i like to see a little bit of granite in it i'm going to add some locust beans i think we call this boy in Ishan. but this is locust beans that we all know and i'm also going to be adding some dry fish some dried catfish so guys this is the granite I poured it inside this plate and this is the this is my my meat rather it has been boiling for like almost 10 minutes now so I'm going to add everything inside and add the palm oil my soup is boiling i'm allowing it to cook then i'm going to add my what's it called i'll add my salt and add more pepper my ghee add my seasoning basically but i tasted it and it is tasting really nice you guys need to try this soup this is edo people's soup you guys need to try it like it's so nice i'm also going to be eating it with some pounded yam so like this Saturday is about to get lit. I just did my soup now and it is already tasting very, very sweet. I have not even added seasoning, no, and it's already tasting very, very sweet. I think it's sweet because you know granite is sweet. So I need something to balance out the sweetness. I'm not going to add ugu. I'm going to add bitter leaf instead because bitter leaf is a little bit bitter and it is going to help to balance out the sweetness of the granite soup because like i said the soup is already sweet even without adding um seasoning okay like there are so many different methods of cooking um this granite soup some people tend to add tomatoes to their own but my mom didn't add tomatoes while i knew like while i was growing up she didn't add tomatoes to hers what she used to do then she used to pound the she would pound the granite or she would use like a dry um a dry stone i don't know that stone stuff like i don't know if you guys know it but then she would grind the granules and then she'll add onions to it she'll mix it together with the onions she'll grind everything together when it is dry and then she'll wait for the oil of the granite to come out a little bit before she cooks it but me i don't have that energy so i just grinded my own inside blender and i poured it inside my soup but if you want to do it the like original original way you can you know add onions you can pound onions and the granite together so let's check on our soup oh so guys this is the soup the soup is souping <laughs> the soup is souping oh guys make sure you add the um, dried catfish dried catfish elevates the taste and I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of the granite. I don't like my granite soup being too smooth. Like, that's just my preference. You can blend yours to be very smooth, but I don't like mine being too smooth. So right now, I'm going to add my seasoning to it and add my bitter leaf. So guys, this is the soup. I'm so happy. Eee! Guys, it tastes absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see the small, small pieces of granite? This is how I like my granite soup. If you want to blend yours to be very smooth, then you are free to do that. But me, I don't like, I don't like it being too smooth. So this is my granite soup. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. The granite soup is granite. Like, can you see how it is granite? Anyways, let's make our pounded yam.
guys. The DM is really on the DM, you know. The motor is too small, and I think we added too much yam. So it sucks, yeah, but I think the texture would have been better if we had used a bigger motor. So guys, our food is ready. I'm so excited. So this is the soup, and I'm going to be eating it with pounded yam. The pounded yam isn't really pounded yamming because I don't know what happened, but we're going to manage it like that. So I'm just going to do a little bit of taste test for you guys. But this is my pounded yam. Now I cut your own. <laughs> So, I'm going to eat. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so, guys, this actually really tastes very good. So, I'm waiting for my husband to come back. So, when he comes back, he's going to tell me what he thinks. He's going to rate me over 10. But I give this super 10 over 10 because it actually tastes really nice and i like the bitter leaf it kind of balances out the gano soup right Nora? yeah it's really nice so you guys should try it a few moments later hey guys so oh i think he's back already i already put some these dogs i already put some water on the fire because i'm going to be making a bar i'm not going to be making pounded yam because oh my god <laughs> I'm not going to make him pounded yam because that pounded yam I made wasn't really pounded yam. So, oh my god, oh my god, these dogs. So, are you enjoying the soup? <laughs> oh, you're not used to it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> over 10. How much do you eat it over 10? How much? How do you get it over 10? 10 over 10. Are you sure? You're yeah, just. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah, whining me. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10 over 10. 10. Guys, today is Sunday and I'm supposed to do a cleaning video, like a bathroom cleaning video. I've been saying I will make a bathroom cleaning video for the longest time. But I am not really feeling too well today, so I think I'll just do that in the next. Maybe not the next video, but like maybe the next two videos, okay? So I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did really enjoy it, please remember to give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments the kind of content you want me to make. I'll see you guys in my next one until then. Bye.